What's up guys, my name is Ali Vibes, recording engineer, mixing and mastering. Today I'm gonna to show you how to export stems in Audacity. This is the latest version 3.13. So there's a lot of extra tricks that are, makes it a little bit easier. So first things first, we're gonna look over at our clips that we have. And the first thing that happens, the problem, the issue is that when you record vocals, you usually don't start at the very beginning. You kind of have them start with us. So this is our chorus right here that we have. The problem with our verse is that when it's exported, when you go and export it, are you supposed to? You go export multiple and then it prints out stems. The stems are going to come out all the way over here for the engineer and they're not going to know where your vocal is going. They're going to be out of time. So to prevent that, we're going to do a little a hack with you using the latest version of Audacity is that whatever clips you have, you highlight a certain amount of space. It could be anything. It's just as long as were before the clips to create a new clip of silence. So once you have the area highlighted, you go over to generate, silence, and if you have the newer version, it shouldn't push it down. If it does push it down, then that's another hack I'll show you. Once we have the silence clip, so we have an empty clip right here before our other clips, we're gonna highlight the clips to we can join them. So now that they're highlighted, we go over to edit, we go down to clip boundaries and we go to join. There's a shortcut, but mine just didn't come with a shortcut. So we'll just do it manually. And now you have click, cl uh, join your clips. So now they begin at the very beginning of the track. So when they're exported in the wave stems, the engineer will know exactly where your vocals go on the beat for the instrumental and then nothing will be at a time. So now that you have your beats, uh, your vocals align exactly where it's supposed to be. Now we can go and export the the stems. One thing is really important. We're going to go over to export on file, go over to export multiple. And then right here, the most important thing is you want to look over at what your, your session rate is. Typically you want to record at 24 bit. Uh, if it's recorded 32, 32 bit, that's fine. It's a really high quality, but between 24 and 32, you really can't tell much of a difference. Uh, if you, you have to record at 16, that's okay, but 24 is ideal. This one was accidentally at 32, so that's fine. So I'm gonna go over the click encoding, the options, and just go down 32 bit. And then, uh, yeah, and, uh, one last thing before you export, you wanna have your titles, uh, these all named properly. So if it says Vokes, and this is your main vocal, you just wanna go on name, and then just type in the correct, that way your engineer knows where everything should be structured. It's easier and faster workflow and they'll be happier. So we're gonna export it. Now they're all named correctly. So then the next step is you wanna pick a place. So we just wanna pick the desktop. We'll do a, so we'll create stems, new two, one. And then we open it, we select the folder, and then we just go to export, hit OK for all the tracks. And then they've exported properly. So now that exported properly, this is the one we just did right now. So what we can do, just double check it, just look inside there. Yep, everything's in there properly. So we can right click it. We'll go to send to for a PC and go to compress. And if you're on a Mac, it's a right click. You can also, this should have an option to zip. And once the you have your folder zip, it's easy to upload and transfer and move around. This is your end product. And then you can easily either send it, upload it, Dropbox, file pass, email, whichever. And that's how you export your stems really fast. Thanks guys for following.